How's it going guys? I'm sure you're wondering what this video is about just from the title. Well, this is one of the first videos that just describes this rating in general because if you look up Submarine Yeoman, you won't find very many videos at all. Um, the job is something that once you do, it definitely changes you, I want to say, only because it's so demanding and so stressful, this job. That's why I want to give like a brief overview of it because a lot of people who will join and get in won't end up finishing out their tour or their four year contract or they'll end up doing something different because they didn't realize from the start what the job really was and what it entailed. And I'm just making this video for transparency to describe what it really is so that those of you who really want to go forward and still do it, you'll understand what you're really getting into. Okay, perfect. Now, to start this off, I just want to describe what a submarine yeoman actually is, or the YNS rating, yeoman submarines, to be exact. What it is, it's generally two to three people on board a submarine, but most of the time it's two. Um, they have an office that generally is about, like, I would say nine feet. It's not very big. Um, it's, it's a little box that you have to work out of. So you have to think that when you do this job, you have to be wanting to work in really, really tight quarters and want to be able to just not leave at all um, your workplace because generally, you know, deployments last up to six months and sometimes they can be in two month increments so you'll be underwater for a long time in very stressful environments so yeah oh when you do submarines not only think about the admin part but think about you know all the other jobs that you're required to do while on board a submarine because being a yeoman is not the full extent of what you'll be doing. You'll be doing way more on a submarine than you will in, you know, the surface fleet community in terms of your job. You have to qualify watches that are mandatory. Um, you have to immediately integrate yourself with, you know, the commanding officer and the XO and because you work so close to them because you essentially as a yeoman are every aspect of that admin presence on board where you know there are different ratings in the Navy like there's legal men there's PS's there's you know LS's there's MC's there's some ratings that specifically will do security depending on where you are in the service fleet think about all of those different rates except you put them all into one. And that's what a yeoman is. It's, you're doing all these different ratings, but you are still considered a submarine yeoman. Because like I said, an office can only fit two people. So the Navy has no other chance but to like merge all these different jobs into one. So on an annual basis, you'll go through two to 3,000 admin tasks. That puts out you know, 1,200 tasks um, per yeoman. So it's it's really demanding, like really, really admin demanding. Um, so if you don't like doing paperwork or you're someone who doesn't necessarily have good organizational skills and someone who doesn't like a lot of pressure, then I would recommend not doing this rating because it's has a ton of pressure on you to you know, do more than the average person on board a submarine in terms of like their job scope because you're doing a lot more, not only in your rating, but a lot of other ratings. Um, on, turn, on, on top of that, a lot of people don't think about this, but for the rating, you only have a few places you can get stationed. Um, we're not a very big community. Just to give you an example of size, there is less than 600 submarine yeomen in the fleet. There's about 537, I would say. And there are 4,000. 
600 and something surface fleet yeoman. So just by numbers in general, there's gonna be less opportunity in terms of where you get stationed. So if you wanna like see the world, um, being a submarine yeoman probably isn't the rating for you because most of the time you'll get stationed in the United States because you know there's only so many places you can go. Because once you go in the submarine force, you're stuck with submarine force billets. Meaning that once you, you know, are on a certain basketball team, you can only wear that jersey, you know. So you're kind of stuck wherever that team goes and plays. And it's the same thing in the submarine force. Once, you, once you're in it, it's extremely hard to get out of it. Because like once I said before, um, there's only so many people in it, 500. So they're not going to let people just get out. So once you're in it, you're in it. And that's something that also, I believe that a lot of people need to know because, you know, say you don't like it, say it's not for you, there really is no other option um, because right now as a rating, we're somewhat undermanned, like we don't have enough people, so they're not gonna let you just get out and do something else. So if you're thinking about getting in, just think that you gotta be in for the long haul and you have to be really dedicated to this. So that's something to keep in mind. The pay, um, you get submarine pay as being a submarine yeoman. When you first start off, it's like $60 and then it can go all the way up to 300 or more. It really depends on how long you've been in. Um, it goes it goes by years of how long you've been in so you really won't make a whole lot until you reach the 10 year mark or greater but that's about the only difference in how much money you'll actually get because submarine pay is something you get extras for being in submarines because submarines are volunteer service so you have to volunteer to um, be in it so just keep in mind you get that but you also have to like you know look at the caveats where you know there's less shore duties you can go to there's less places you can get stationed when you go on a deployment there's less ports you can pull into because of the submarines missions you know they're more focused on you know being discreet and being in surveillance and you're always out to sea always out to sea constantly 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 um, training, training over and over again, not only um, in terms of what you're going to do, like your watch station, because yeomans are required to qualify watches. Um, I stood sonar operator. I know yeoman who will stand like um, other orders, such as fire control watches, which is like, you know, something similar to it, except you have to, well, uh, I don't, I can't, it's hard for me to explain it because I didn't stand to watch, but basically there's this thing called watches where you're required to do, uh, as, as, as soon as you check on board, you have to qualify a watch station on top of being a yeoman. Um, it's just like driving the ship. Uh, you have to drive the ship as, you know, my first time on board. I have to qualify what's called helms and planes. So, yeah. So, back to like, you know, going and being stationed in all these different places and seeing and traveling you won't really see that with submarine yeoman only because there's so many like you know places you can get stationed and the demanding duties of a submarine um you know i've i've met regular yeoman surface yeoman who have gone and seen so many port calls you know from spain to korea to japan to uh, um wherever else they go i can't i don't know i've never been to a lot of the places they've been only because um you have to understand that submarine missions are completely different than that's the surface fleet so i would say that if you're looking to travel a lot and you're looking to earn a lot of extra money and you're learning to get you know college done this probably isn't the rating for you because you will work a lot. Like, you like ten. Uh, you you will probably be at work 
till five or six o'clock at night some days only because of like how much admin the boat actually requires you to push out in such a short amount of time so nothing wrong with it you know if you like to work really hard and you like admin because you like you have to like admin to to survive in this rating because you will do a lot of admin like um i am a businessman i would consider myself like even before the navy so like for me i've always liked working hard and like i've uh had a little few side hustles while um in the navy so like i was used to that stress but if you're not used to that stress and you first do it it will set you off right away so and that's another thing and, and um the pipeline when you join actually starts off in boot camp then you go to meridian mississippi which is the a school then you'll go to sub school and sub school is in groton connecticut and after sub school you'll have a chance to pick your duty station if it's available if it's not then they'll send you chances are wherever the navy needs to send you and those locations primarily will be kings bay georgia bremerton washington bremerton, bremerton washington san diego california norfolk virginia uh, groton connecticut and hawaii so primarily six um, if you're on a shipyard boat, which is if your boat's being, you know, torn apart and put together, then you'll end up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. But that's a very rare occasion. But for the most part, I would say that if you're really thinking about this rating, really think if you can handle summer rains and being in a tight space because a lot of people don't realize what it's like to be in small quarters, not being able to leave and having, you know, no sunlight, no fresh air. Um, it's, it's a, like a, it's a culture shock, you know, not everyone can experience that. And some people, when they experience it, um, they just can't handle it. So I would really think about that aspect. And then the next aspect was, do you like to do admin right because you will be doing a lot a lot of paperwork a lot of paperwork um and you'll have a lot of long days um and you'll have probably you know not as much i would say opportunities for shore duties like i said because it's a very small community so you have to think it of, if I want to be in this community, am I willing to not go travel around the world, in a sense? Because you have very li limited selections and it's very rare that you get them. So that would be the three most important things I would look at because from my experience um being almost 10 years that's what i've grasped from it i mean i'm fine personally not going overseas and i'm fine like doing a lot of paperwork because i'm i'm just used to it and like like i said i have that entrepreneurship background in business so i'm just used to like always doing work and working hard and running like in uh, a little organization um and uh, and uh some marines uh I grew up in Hawaii and when I was a little kid I just thought some Marines were pretty cool so you know here I am now and it it just kind of worked out but the choice honestly comes down to you to really think about it because this job is hard like it is really hard you will do a lot of like um, long days and a lot of um, work that most people who first join the navy don't get to experience um because it's just very demanding in terms of like the atmosphere on some marines so really think about it and really i would say look at your options as well because the last thing you want to do is like make it all the way through sub school and get to the submarine and figure out that it's not for you because when I, when I joined in 2011, 
I had a few friends that were like going to be in the same position as I was. They're all going to be submarine yeoman. And it turns out that out of all of us who went through it, only two made it through and I was one of them. So me and another guy actually made it all the way through the pipeline to an actual submarine. Um, a few didn't make it past A school, a school and others didn't make it past sub school. So you have to think that, you know, it's it's not easy, it, it's really hard. Um, but if you're up for a challenge and you really like doing administration and running a, sh a ship's office as they call it, and being in charge of a whole crew's pay, legal, ceremonies, um, schedule, ship schedules, security, um, yeah, there's just a lot. And to get into the weeds of it, it's a lot. Um, I'm gonna provide like a template that shows you everything um, in a link to this video, so you can like get a whole grasp of what you're really getting into. Cause I think transparency is huge. So I'll, I'll put that there just to explain it more, but I just wanna let you know that this rating is something that takes a type of person to take the special type of person that really just works hard, works really hard and just, just grinds, just grinds to make it. And that could be you. I will have more videos describing this rating, but this is how I want to start it off. All right. You guys have a great day. Perfect.